it's that time to cover the uh, SCOM driver. So we use the SCOM test app to do that. And it's Pro 2 SCOM uh, properties. Notice here that all this is very similar to what you've seen before. Com port is Com 5. We're using half steps. We use a fast motor speed. Uh, we're on Celsius. We've got coil power enabled. Um, and so those are what the normal settings would be. If you wanted the ASCOM trace log, you could turn this on, and that could be useful to, to, for debugging. And this form does look different to the previous ASCOM drivers. Not only different color, but some different stuff on it. And we have a settings menu now. So if I access the settings menu like this, uh, this is where all the other additional information is found. So I wanted to calibrate the temperature probe to be, say, 1.2 degrees and press enter and all of these values will be saved so the LCD page time we know all the delays we know step size we know and it was like 7.8 but remember that I've already set all of this up in the in the Windows application so I really don't need to change all of this because it's saved in the controller right now all right um, the temperature coefficient is obviously for temperature compensation and to enable or disable that, well, we won't worry about that now, they'll be covered separately. The motor speed threshold, remember, uh, we've, all, we've already set all this up before, so no point enabling and updating that now because it's already been configured and I don't want to change the focus settings when I connect whatever values in here if I choose update on connect there, those values will become the initial focus of position and max steps when I connect. And I don't want to do that because I haven't changed the focus so it's still at position 471. So there's no way I want to be able to do that. And all the backlash, remember, we've already set all of that up before. So there's no point sending this information um, to the controller because I have already done this in the Windows application, all right? So I'll just type the values in there so they're gonna be remembered, but I don't wanna send those to the controller because if I make a mistake, I'll screw it up, all right? And just to show you that it's remembered, we'll go back, you can, you can see that all the values are, are remembered. So now I've got everything set up in the ESCOM driver, which it matches the Windows, so I'll click Connect and I'll click OK, and I'll click Connect here. And it should connect to the focuser, and it did, and told me it was 245, etc. So it retrieved uh, 18,200, rec uh, received the 571 as the last position, and also got me the temperature. So I can, I can tell it minus 100, for example, the focuser moves, and I can tell it plus 100, and the focuser moves. And I've got a checkbox here to enable or disable temperature compensation. Um, and that's where this should actually be a feature in the ESCOM client, because that's where it actually resides. Okay, the control of that. Uh, so there are calls in the ESCOM driver to allow you to turn it on, turn it off from the client. Okay, so in, enough spill. So that's, that's it all there, much the same sort of features and uh, it's running underneath ESCOM, so we can disconnect that and exit. And if we were to start up something like APT, just to show you, and we go into gear, and we go into uh, So, we don't need to change anything, remember, because we've already set it up before. Connect, okay. So this should t then tell me what the position is. 571. Okay, so we know we, we're connected and we can sort of uh, move the focuser out. 576, uh, 581, 586, go by a big step, 611. So you can see it's being controlled by APT uh, very easily. I'll disconnect it, exit APT, so ESCOM's working fine.